Hi Patreons, it's Darius from Wild Mash and Enough Imagination and it's time for another Wild News. Let's check it out. Hey guys, so it's time for Wild News and what's in the Wild Wave March? This is what's in the Wild Wave March. We have uh, two units of demon models, one is of demon models and one is of hive guys, the abductors, they can steal, you know what they can steal, whatever they want, because they're crazy and menacing. Those models are uh, multi-part and you can assemble them however you like, the demons have a head on a ball joint so you can rotate it around, uh, they have five different uh, sword hands, five different hands holding nothing, just to give them more style and character. And the torso and legs are connecting also with a ball joint, so you can rotate them and position them however you like. You have 10 heads, a standard bearer and actually a different one, this is an old one, and a musician. So you can create a full demonic force with them and uh, the combinations are endless, so you can probably fill your army with a hundred of those and everyone will be different. Uh, the abductors, those guys are modular as hell because uh, they have four limbs uh, that are also on the ball joint and you can rotate those bad boys however you like. You can mirror the uh, parts also to have more variety and you I had actually had a lot of fun with this kit. There's 10 heads, there's 10 bodies and 10 sets of hands. You can go really crazy with those. If you're making a diorama, those are really nice miniatures. If you want to pose them yourself and give them some character, you can go to the, the heads are like open ones, screaming ones, closed ones, looking to the side. Really cool models. Over here we have the Mysterious Mistress, uh, a big demonet model with two aggressive claws and a big ass sword. And she's telling you to be quiet because she doesn't want you to reveal her secrets. We also have the Void Watcher, aka Clarence, uh, the one that I showed you previously. And we have him painted as well in the Void Horror color scheme. Yes, this is our faction that we're developing to our living war game. We also painted the Stings of Chaos, we call those now Void Brutes. And they're also in the color scheme of the Void Water, so the army is slowly growing. Last but not least is the Infernal Demon Lord. He comes in the sci-fi version with a Forge Keeper in his hand that he's slain and is showing off to all the other Forge Keepers. You guys don't stand a chance and stuff like that. And this one comes in a sci-fi version as well. We also have some uh, small uh, critters, explosive baining inspired from Starcraft uh, hive minis. But I don't know where I put them. <laughs> uh, okay, this concludes um, Wild Wave March. Let's talk about what's coming up in the next month. For this one, we are developing the Outcasts and Renegades. Those are going to be for Winter's SEO army that we're developing in team with him. And I have few test prints over here, the Ogrens. They will come with 10 different heads, 5 torsos, 5 legs and uh, a big ass shield, a two-handed weapon, a power mace and a grenade launcher and a big ass rifle. And a small shield. Did I, talk, did I tell you about the small shield? Uh, th those look amazing, I'm super blown away. They have a really unique and original uh, sci-fi theme to them. You can assemble them as kind of a bad, bad guys. You can pick the heads that are zombified, looking quite grim. And you can attach some spiky bits like skulls on a spike to their shoulder pads to make them look uh, more menacing. But you can do them as just pure renegades with, without the really evil parts and they uh, will work quite fine. 
Next test print that I have over here is for the Big Hive Daddy. He is called uh, Hive the Great Invader. And he has two wing options. Yeah, give me that. He has a wing option and uh, some tentacles if, he not, if he's not using wings. So, yeah. He has uh, claw hands, he has sword hands, back sword and regular open hands to go with his shooting weapon mouth. Besides the ogres, the great invader, there are gonna be marauder, marauders for outcasting renegades, small guys. And if there's enough time, we're gonna add a tank. And this concludes the sci-fi part of the April wave. And as for fantasy, we have some female theme going on. We have the elves. There's gonna be uh, elves on owls. And there's gonna be some sharpshooter ladies that are shooting their bows. They're gonna be super commandos, woodland watchers. And there's gonna be elf sorcerers. Eventually, somewhere along the lines, they're gonna receive Silvax, the ancient dragon that they are worshipping and it's gonna be a, be a kick-ass mole, but it's gonna take probably a month for an artist to sculpt, so keep your eyes out on that as well. Okay, this concludes the wild news. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section below what models are you excited for the most. Click the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and leave a like, because we need your likes, as void horrors need your crystals. See you guys next time.